So you've already seen that we have new uh, uh, taping for the pews, that we have single and family groupings in the different sections. Um, our live stream isn't working. We're not entirely sure why, so let's stand. As we come together for Mass this evening, we remember the soul of Mary Calvert, and we welcome uh, Ryan and Wendy, who are here to renew their uh, marriage vows on their uh, wedding anniversary. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you always. As we come together to celebrate the Eucharist, we remember our need for God's mercy and forgiveness. Lord Jesus, you are the delight of all the angels and saints. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you nourish us in word and sacrament. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, we long for your return in glory at the end of time. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who teach us that you abide in hearts that are just and true, grant that we may be so fashioned by your grace as to become a dwelling pleasing to you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the second letter of Paul to the Thessalonians. Now we command you, beloved, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, to keep away from believers who are living in idleness and not according to the tradition that they received from us. For you yourselves know how you ought to imitate us. We were not idle when we were with you, and we did not eat anyone's bread without paying for it. But with toil and labor, we work night and day, so that we might not burden any of you. This was not because we do not have that right, but in order to give you an example to imitate. For even when we were with you, we gave you this command, anyone unwilling to work should not eat. Now may the Lord of peace himself give you peace at all times, in all ways, the Lord be with all of you. I, Paul, write this greeting with my own hand. This is the mark in every letter of mine. It is the way I write. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all of you. The word of the Lord. Thanks. Happy are those who fear the Lord. Happy are those who fear the Lord. Happy is the one who fears the Lord, who walks in his ways. You shall eat the fruit of the labor of your hands. You shall be happy, and it shall go well with you. Amen. Thus shall the man be blessed with fe who fears the Lord. The Lord bless you from Zion. May you see the prosperity of Jerusalem all the days of your life.
the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the crowds, Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for you are like whitewashed tombs, which on the outside look beautiful, but inside they are full of the bones of the dead and of all kinds of filth. So you also on the outside look righteous to others, but inside you are full of hypocrisy and lawlessness. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for you build the tombs of the prophets and decorate the graves of the righteous. And you say, if we had lived in the days of our ancestors, we would not have taken part with them in shedding the blood of the prophets. Thus you testify against yourselves that you are descendants of those who murdered the prophets. Fill up then the measure of your ancestors. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. One might say that uh, Jesus got up on the wrong side of the bed uh, with these warnings and uh, uh, woe to you, scribes and Pharisees. And yet, uh, what Jesus was uh, objecting to was a, a, a belief or a, a system that put in place an idea that, that you could affect your own salvation, that it would be your own work, your own doing, your own actions. And really the grace that we receive through St. Paul is a, a, an accurate understanding that all is by the grace of God. That we have a responsibility, yes, but that all of our salvation is about the grace of God. That God's grace works in and through us. And it works in and through in a particular way in a most wonderful way in, the, uh, in a marriage. And so we give thanks to God for the witness of Wendy and Ryan in their marriage, in their fidelity to each other and to the Lord uh, as they uh, continue to uh, strive to evangelize and to bring others to Christ. So we're going to ask Wendy and Ryan to step forward. Wendy and Ryan, on the anniversary of that celebration at which you joined your lives in an unbreakable bond through matrimony, you now intend to renew before the Lord the promises you made to one another. Turn to the Lord in prayer, that these vows may be strengthened by divine grace. So uh, I'm going to invite you to look at each other. <laughs> I'm going to turn off my microphone.
let us call upon the mercy of God, the Almighty Father, who in his most provident plan willed that the history of salvation be signified in marital love and fidelity. Holy Father, who are called faithful, requiring and rewarding the observance of your covenant, be pleased to fill with your blessings these your servants who celebrate the 20th anniversary of their marriage. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Holy Father, who with the Son and the Holy Spirit enjoy from eternity perfect oneness of life and communion of love, grant that these your servants may always remember and faithfully keep the covenant of love they made in the sacrament. We pray to the Lord. Holy Father, who in your providence order all the experiences of human life so as to lead the faithful to share in the mystery of Christ, grant that these your servants, serenely accepting both good times and bad, may strive to cling to Christ and live for him alone. We pray to the Lord. Holy Father, who willed that the partnership of marriage should be an example of Christian living, grant that all married couples may be witnesses in the world to the mystery of your Son's love. We pray to the Lord. Amen. O God, in whose plan family life has its firm foundation, hear with compassion the prayers of your servants and grant that following the example of the Holy Family, they may praise you without end in the joy of your house, through Christ our Lord. Amen. You may kiss the groom. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for it is through your goodness that we have this bread to offer, which earth has given, human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for it is through your goodness that we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours might be acceptable to God, the Father, the Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of God's name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May this offering, O Lord, we pray, cleanse and renew us, and may it become for those who do your will the source of eternal reward through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin. Fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, 
we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Thomas, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, the martyrs, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Share with one another a sign of Christ's peace.
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold the risen Lord who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those called to the banquet of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Having fed upon these heavenly delights, we pray, O Lord, that we may always long for that food by which we truly live, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.